You're watching Buchanan and Press. Big political news out of California. Governor Gray Davis thought he was safe when he was reelected last year. Think again. He now faces the prospect of a recall campaign, a special election this year. Joining us live from San Diego is the chair of the Recall Gray, Gray Davis Committee, former uh, Assemblyman Howard Collusion. Mr. Collusion, thank you so much for joining us. But I got to ask you, me, uh, you took on uh, Gray Davis last year. You, got, you took your best shot and you lost. Why don't you just live with reality and move on and talk about George Bush reelecting him in 2004? or taking uh, Barbara Boxer out in 2004? I, I love th that, Bill, because that's a very predictable question. He hid the information from us during the last campaign about the seriousness of the budget deficit, about how bad this state is being managed today. Back when he was first elected four years ago, he had a surplus of $12 billion that he came into office with. And even after the one-time revenue sources have gone down, even after the stock market has crashed and the dot-com bubble has burst, we still have 28% more revenue coming into the state coffers here in California than back then. And yet we have a $35 billion deficit that he didn't discover until days after the election. All right, Howard Kalugian, he does have a $35 billion deficit. It is a disaster area up there in Sacramento. He deceived the public. He is down to 25% approval or whatever it is. Why not leave him in there and let him and a Democratic Party work with this monster and they're all going to be in a mess. They're going to be cutting, they'll be cutting spending all over the place. They'll be raising taxes on everybody. Let them go ahead and do it and wipe them all out in 2004. Very good point, Pat. There are a number of people who are saying that that would be exactly what would happen. The problem is, of course, in the meantime, we devastate this state. And this is my home. I love it here. It's a beautiful place to be, and I want to stay. But every time that you look at any issue, whether it's energy or taxes or traffic or the environment, he is making a mess of things here. And I don't want to see this state be ruined. I don't right, want to see now, the golden luster come well, off it. And so okay. we want to change the person who's responsible. All right, you're going to change the person. So you, I think you can, you get 900 thousand signature you get that's the recall correct. petition on the ballot half of the votes plus one takes him out that's correct and then you can put in your own candidate who all he has to do is win by a plurality 30 percent if there's but, five or six oh, thousand no. race but, who are you going to put in correct. the race against him uh, that's not my call it would be whoever the people of california choose at that point and frankly i'd rather take somebody out of the uh, white pages at random than than this person because he has devastated the state in every well, aspect i mean well, the uh, energy uh, crisis uh, and the budget crisis are the two great legacies of this administration and it's going to harm us uh, for uh, generations uh, let's get real okay i put an initiative on the ballot in california uh, 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 back in 1980 I know this business. You've got to get 900,000 signatures in 160 days. That's going to cost you at least $2 million. Then you've got to turn around and run a statewide campaign in California, which is going to cost you $35 million. Well, the question is, this weekend at the California Republican Convention, why should the Republican Party of California buy this program from you to spend all this time and all this money, which is probably going to be a losing cause because you know Gray Davis can raise twice as much money as you can with his hands tied behind his back. Well, if there is one thing that's surprising Gray Davis as he's formed the Stop the Recall Committee, it's that people don't want to support him this time around because they don't like him. They don't like what he's proposing. They don't like what he's doing. They don't like the fact that he's cutting education and he's cutting our public safety with our, our budgets to our fire and, uh, fighters and police. And so, frankly, Bill, I'm not asking the Republican Party to do this. I'm a private citizen and I'm helping to do this because I want this done in my state. And we put up a website, but is it recallgraydavis.com, yeah. right. and we have had over a million hits to that website. We've got over 20,000 people at recallgraydavis.com who have signed up to circulate petitions. If each of them does only 50 yeah. signatures, we've got the initiative. You know right. yourself, Bill, no. from having done this Howard. and from having lived here, that yeah. you can get things on the ballot. Yeah, I'm I not asking know. anything from the Republican Party. I also Pardon. know there have been 118 uh, rec uh, recalls tried in the state of California. Only four of them have succeeded, 32 against governors, and none of them 
have succeeded. You're it's a big your task. time, sir. It, got, it is a big task. We got task, Rose no Bird doubt. here, though, don't we, Howard? We have gross We got Rose management. Bird in spades, and we can take she him out. She wasn't governor That's of California. <laughs> we, we, have, we have people upset with him for a reason, though, Bill, and that's something that you have to understand. Uh, right. He has hurt us in, in many categories, and we simply don't Dream want to on. destroy our quality of life. He's and a so great come populist to recall great movement. Davis Good luck, Howard, on, on that right. great Thanks, populist Howard. cause. Thank you. We'll come out and give you a hand. When we come back, folks, in the next hour, MSNBC's Chris Matthews is going to join Lester Holt to discuss the Democrats in 2004. Two more filed today, and we'll be right back here, Buchanan and Press, on MSNBC, America's news channel.